Hi, I'm Josh, and welcome to another edition of the Butler Sports Report. I've got the other Josh here with me, and today we're going to discuss men's basketball action from the past week and preview the last two games of the Big East Conference schedule. Butler went 2-0 this week, very successful week for the Bulldogs. Uh, they started the week with a 82-66 win against DePaul here at Hinkle Fieldhouse on 57% shooting from the field, 35% uh, from deep, uh, solid shooting per shooting performance from the Butler Bulldogs. No question. For DePaul, Eli Kane, once again, kind of proved to be Butler's crimp tonight. 24 points on 9 to 13 shooting, but they were able to hold everybody else in check. The only other player for DePaul in double figures was Joe Hanel, and so that was a good defensive performance. It could have been better, but it certainly could have been worse yeah, as well. It was a solid de defensive performance for the Butler Bulldogs. Uh, Butler had four players in double figures led by Nate Fowler, who had 15 points on seven of nine shooting. Very efficient basketball player Nate is. Um, Avery Woodson was also uh, very efficient from the three-point line, going four of six on the game. Um, Tyler Lewis had eight assists and 10 points. Very solid um, performance from Tyler, and he's really a big reason why Butler's offense was very good in this game. No turnovers as well. Tyler has gotten more playing time lately, and he did in the Villanova game as well. And he's been just doing a phenomenal job of running the offense, making sure things are working the way that they should, moving the ball around. Yep. He is a key moving forward because he's been spectacular yes. these last couple games. Yes, uh, Butler also had 44 bench points in this game um, with, you know, the likes of Keelan Martin coming off the bench it's, and, and Tyler Lewis. It's helpful uh, and get lots of bench points from those two players. Um, but it just speaks to the depth of Butler's roster right now um, and the fact that Coach Holman can put out 9 to 10 players on any given night and they can produce for this basketball team. And when we get into tournament time, when you're playing lots of games and uh, need fresh legs, uh, that'll definitely come in handy as they get deeper into postseason play. No question. It's also very unique because there are other teams in the country that have depth, but what Butler offers is starting level players that just come off the bench because that's yes. how the team works best. Yeah. Keelan Martin was a preseason All Big East first team player, and he's coming off the bench. That That's not easy to deal with when no. you're the opposition. So. When Butler is playing at its best and scoring in a variety of ways with a variety of players, they really are hard to card because you don't know who's going to strike yes, when. Exactly. Um, but definitely a great performance from the Butler Bulldogs. 82-66 to victory inside Hinkle Fieldhouse. Um, on the back half of the week, Butler had possibly, a, definitely its most impressive win of the season so far. Uh, the, the Bulldogs beat Villanova at Phil Villanova 74-66. to this was an incredible game for the Bulldogs. No question. The defense finally returned to a championship level for the first time, really, since the first Villanova game. Yep. It was very exciting to see. Jalen Brunson did have 24 points, but he also had five turnovers. Villanova, as a team, had 15. Very uncharacteristic, very. and Butler's defense was a big part yes. of that. They only shot 25% from three. It was just really exciting because I think if Butler's going to go deep in March – that's the kind of defense they have to play. Yes. And they're capable. They just haven't done it consistently yes. yet. And they have this proven year. that they do have the defensive ability to be very effective against teams of the caliber of the caliber of Villanova. The trick now is to get up for games like they get up for the Villanova games and exactly. play defense the way that they do against Villanova. Because there's no doubt that they go into those Villanova games with a purpose that is just a little bit stronger than the games that they play against other teams. The trick is to find that purpose against everybody. Um, and that defense can, and it proved, can be very, very effective. Um, Butler also shot the ball fairly well, shooting 51% from the field and 40% from deep. Um, it's helpful when you're shooting the ball pretty well, uh, making over half your shots. Uh, Keelan Martin led all scores with 22 points and 8 rebounds on 7 of 11 shooting. When the Bulldogs have that Keelan Martin, they're a force to be reckoned with because when Keelan plays like that and rebounds the way he can but and is also – efficiently shooting, he makes this Butler team even better. There's no question. And also kind of the unsung hero of the game was Andrew Shravis. He only had four points, but he had seven rebounds and eight assists. He really did all the little things that you have to do to win. And he's been doing that his entire Butler career, yes, really. So he, he deserves some love for that. And I think also this game really put Butler in a great position to get a three seed, yep. which means you don't play that one seed in the Sweet 16. This is just an incredible boost to an already – very solid resume. Yes. And again, the bench points, they outscored Villanova's bench 32 to 6. Yes. They definitely exploited Villanova's weakness, yep. which is depth. Um, and that could be something that 
could be Villanova's Achilles heel as they move into postseason play. But Butler definitely took advantage of, advantage of the advantages that they had in this game. Um, and this win might turn out to be the most impressive win of the entire year from anybody um, winning on the road against Villanova and handing Villanova seniors their first ever loss inside the pavilion. It was quite an impressive showing from the Bulldogs. No doubt about that. And also, Butler had 21 assists and Villanova only had eight. When the ball is moving that way and when the defense is as strong as it was, that's when Butler's at its best. And they've kind of come and gone in spurts this year with both the defense and the passing, but it was all there again against Villanova for the second time. And it's encouraging that we're very close to the end of the season, yes. uh, regular season, and that's when we're starting to see, because we saw a version of that in the DePaul game as well, um, and then it got even better against the Villanova. So it's encouraging to see the Bulldogs playing really well as we – move towards postseason play. The Bulldogs wrap up the remainder of their Big East Conference schedule in the next couple weeks, uh, starting with Xavier. Um, the last time the Bulldogs played Xavier, they won 83-78 to on 58 second-half points. Um, it was pretty impressive offensive performance from Butler in the second half. Um, but this will once again be a tough game because we are at Xavier. It's not the same as being inside Hinkle Fieldhouse. And Xavier is always just a big game no matter where it yep. is. Edmund Sumner, the first time, led Xavier with 22 points, but he tore his ACL, so he's not going to be playing, obviously. This is a game that Butler really could take advantage of Xavier's injuries yes. and people leaving the team. They've, they've really been hurt this year. They're not at full strength or anywhere near it. But it's going to be very interesting to see how Butler responds because I think that this game is every bit as important as Wednesday's win was to show that they're consistently there in terms yeah. of the defense yes. and the intensity level that seemed to return in the last couple of weeks. Yes, this will definitely be a test coming off of a, a massive win to see if they can keep the intensity up and not just settle after a big game, but coming out and continuing to play at that level. Um, and then Butler wraps up the regular season with a game against DePaul, uh, against Seton Hall, excuse me, inside Hinkle Fieldhouse. Um, it's the last game of the regular season, so it is senior night. Um, big night for uh, all six seniors on the Butler basketball team, Avery Woodson, Keith and Savage, Stephen Bennett, Andrew Shravis, Trey Pettis, and Tyler Lewis. Um, so definitely if you get a chance, go out and support the seniors on their last night. Um, it's a big night for them. Absolutely, and they deserve a lot of credit, specifically Andrew and Stephen for being here all four years. You know, coming off those national championship games, people didn't really know what Butler was going to become, but it was these, you know, these last four years being in the Big East, solidifying Butler as a real college basketball power, and those those guys had a lot to do with it. Yes, for sure. Um, as for the game uh, against Seton Hall, the last time the Bulldogs played Seton, played Seton Hall, uh, the Pirates only shot 29% from the field and only 17% from the three three point line. Um, really solid defensive effort from the Bulldogs. Um, and Seton Hall didn't have a player that scored more than 12 yeah. points in the game, too. It was a very, very solid defensive performance. Yeah. The Bulldogs also had four players in double figures. Um, when you're getting scoring like that from everybody, uh, it definitely makes the offensive that much more effective. And, you know, everybody's going to be pumped up for this last game, make sure the yeah. seniors go out on the right note. Yeah. So it'll be it'll be a fun atmosphere inside Hinkle. Yes. Uh, Butler basketball is not the only Butler sport that's in action this week. Uh, men's and women's tennis is also in action, as well as women's lacrosse, baseball, and women's basketball. And also, Butler's men's and women's track and field teams, as well as the women's swimming team, are currently competing in the Big East Championship. So good luck to all of those athletes and all of those teams. Yes, uh, make sure you're supporting all those student athletes if you get a chance. Um, definitely encouraging to see uh, fellow students at their games uh, and really take advantage of home field advantage when they are on Butler's campus. Um, we hope you enjoyed this edition of the Butler Sports Report. This is the last Butler Sports Report for a few weeks. Um, the next time we are here, we will know where Butler men's basketball is starting their NCAA tournament journey. It will be after Selection Sunday. Um, but we will see you guys then. Go Dawgs. No